So in this video, I want to go through some examples of just working out the values of expressions like these. So for our first example, we have root 2 all squared plus root 7 all squared. Now, we need to understand that square rooting and squaring are inverse processes of one another. So if I square root 2 and then square it, I'm going to be left with 2. And if I square root 7 and square it, I'm going to be left with 7. So we'll have 2 plus 7, which is 9. Our second example, we've got a cube root of 9, and then we're cubing. Take away the cube root of 5, which we're then cubing. So cube rooting and cubing are inverse processes of one another. So if I cube root 9 and then cube the result, I'm going to be left with 9. And if I cube root 5 and cube the result, I'm going to be left with 5. So 9 take away 5 is 4. So number 3, in this one we have square root 10, all squared, take away the square root 2, all squared, all being cube rooted. So we have the square root 10, all squared, which is 10. We have the square root 2, all squared, which is 2. So we have 10 take away 2 underneath the cube root. 10 take away 2 is 8. So we have the cube root of 8, which 8 is a cube number. It's 2 cubed. So the cube root of 8 is 2. And so the result of this is just 2.